Alright guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful, just postcard perfect gorgeous spring day <coughs> in February when the sun shines stayed. It is a Saturday afternoon. February 10th, 2024, I think it is about 82 degrees. It's absolutely gorgeous sunset on a Saturday afternoon. And uh, I just about didn't bring my camera because I figured it was going to be just complete pandemonium down at the boat dock. And I see I am the only human being here on this gorgeous Saturday. The only human being. I do not have one other human inside of me, which, you know, uh, you know on, on one hand, uh, <laughs> with my opinion of my fellow human, uh, I, I should be absolutely celebrating the fact that here in uh, Florida, where I think there's about 40 million people counting these snowbirds, I cannot see one human from where I am. I do not hear one fossil fuel engine. Well, I guess way off in the distance, it says me and the birds hanging out with my bird friends. Looking forward to another exciting Saturday night. Another Saturday night begins in Doomsday Trailer. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. But uh, Saturday is, uh, you know, Saturday night, and the way I celebrate Saturday night is it is Klonopin night. I get to... Uh, eat clonopin and drink tequila till I'm just in, you know, kind of just in a semi-coma and uh, somehow managed to drag myself to bed. Uh, I was talking to my neighbor today and she was telling me that, a one, that another one of our neighbors died. This old man uh, died in his trailer. This old man lived there alone, died in his trailer. And they figured that he had been there for two weeks when uh, they found his body. That, that man lay there for two weeks before they discovered that Anybody discovered that he died. This man lives a couple of well, lived a couple of blocks from me, and I and I told the woman. I, I said, well, uh, I I said the only way you're gonna know that I, I said that same thing could happen to me. I said I could drop dead up there in that fucking trailer. And I said maybe you would see some buzzards circling over. Uh, <laughs> I just wonder how long, like, if I overdose on clonopin and tequila tonight, how long would it be before, uh, I, I guess, uh, Aaron, it would be you, uh, how long would it be before, uh, the owner of the trailer, uh, <laughs> who, who lives... 10 minutes from here and works five minutes from here would find my dead body in doomsday trailer it, it could be two weeks oh, jesus so <clears throat> right before i came down I, i'm talking a half an hour ago i was it is bored out of my skull and reading the mainstream media, all their bullshit, and they had this article about this new study about happiness 
about which decade is the happiest decade. Which decade is the happiest decade for most people? Assuming they make it that far, I guess. And uh, <laughs> the answer, the 60s, that according to this latest survey or whatever, uh, and the vote is in, it is the 60s that when you hit, when you hit peak happiness. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I, I would really like to, uh, to, to interview uh, however many friends I still have alive in their 60s. Just lost another one of my buddies last week. He dropped dead. There's, there's like, I don't know how many people in their 60s right now I know that are, that are either dead or dying. Uh, <laughs> yes, peak happiness. I, th th this is the definition of peak happiness is uh, going back to some uh, single wide trailer uh, at the end of a rutted out dirt road in a swamp in Florida and, uh, and, and slugging tequila and eating clonopin uh, until you're at the edge of suicide and, and hope you don't fucking wake up the, the next morning. Uh, peak happiness <laughs> in your 60s. I was just figuring it out a few days ago. They, the last time I had sex was in the Obama administration. Barack Obama was the was in the White House the last time Hamma and Little Tail got any pussy. Barack Obama. Uh, <laughs> oh Jesus! Absolutely nothing on the uh, nothing. I mean, I'm digging around pile of fish from Florida to New York trying to find a damn woman to have a date with, much less to have sex with, uh, in, in, in my 60s. Yeah, you know, and you see the definition of peak happiness. Go on the fucking pile of fish and uh, put in people in their 60s, the, the millions of, of, of people in their 60s, just sitting here, just absolutely alone, uh, just their whole fucking lives, just, uh, you know, just sitting around waiting to die, which is what I'm doing with my life. This is my life, sitting around waiting to die, so as long as as I am sitting around waiting to die, I, at least I'm going to be sitting around waiting to die in a, in, in a beautiful place. I was, uh, what was it, a few days ago, I guess I didn't do this rant, where something else I was reading was talking about something about how to get an honest glimpse of uh, your level of satisfaction with your life, just gut instinct. The first, if you had to describe your life in five words, just off the top of your head, don't sit here and analyze it. The five words off the top of your head, and 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 and, and these just rolled right off. Although I, I I could have done fifty more. So my top five words to describe my life, of course, number one was lonely. Number two was bored. Number three was restless. Number four was agitated. Number five was obviously depressed. Now, bitter did not make the top five, but it would be there in the top ten. Uh, you know, I guess I, I, I would have rage, grief, uh, rage and grief. So I guess bitter 
would 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 come up number eight. Uh, <laughs> what what would round out the top ten? What comes after bitter? Uh, you know, and 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 I look at you know my my uh, my social life despite what's not happening here this is my social life is coming down here to this dock hanging out with the birds and uh, you know having short conversations uh, predominantly with clueless fucking moron trump tards you know the vast vast majority of which are, are, are lonely old men with broken teeth uh, just like me it's just it, it's just this parade of uh, 90 if not 95 percent of the folks I meet down here at this dock are uh, are, are, are just old men I mean uh, in their 50s 60s but I would say the 60s just men, they have to, just out here all by themselves, uh, heading out to spend the day alone, and, and and then I come here at night when they're coming in on their boats, and uh, and they're and, and they're pulling up in their boats alone, and uh, so here I sit, you know. Uh, there's probably two thirds of this fucking planet would, would trade lives with me right now. Uh, I, I lead an easy, comfortable life. Uh, I joke about Doomsday Trailer, but I've gotten it fixed up pretty nice. I need to give you a tour of uh, what I've done with Doomsday Trailer. Uh, I, I live in this beautiful place, two blocks from this dock with this absolutely gorgeous weather. I, I own 14 beautiful acres in, in New York. I own, own this little slice of paradise, free and clear, that, uh, that I'm making money off of. And uh, e even though I have about 1 20th of the money I w would have had if I had never... Uh, and gone down the fucking Doomer rabbit hole. I, I, I am, uh, I, I have no pressing financial concerns. You know, I, I have enough money left over from previous real estate investments that I'm, that I'm out shopping for real estate, uh, looking at all of these beautiful places to buy more real estate. Uh, it, it, I, I'm not hungry. Uh, I, I can buy whatever I want to eat, whatever I want to drink, uh, you know, compared to a hell of a lot of people, uh, a lot of guys my age. You know, I, I, I look at these 64-year-old men, and they're fucking old men. They're these decrepit old men. Uh, you know, other than my my rotten, broken teeth uh, and, and this fucked up shoulder uh, from the goddamn Optimist Club Christmas tree lot where I fucked up this shoulder for the rest of my fucking life. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in pretty good health. Uh, my, my health is fine. My finances are fine. Uh, I, I, it, there's... You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, I've got no fucking kids badgering me. Uh, I sure as shit don't have some fucking woman uh, bitching at me uh, about some fucking bullshit giving me 25 seconds to fucking say what I have to say. Um... And I, I have a date uh, with a fucking bottle of tequila in one hand and a bottle of clonopin in the other. I, I, I have fewer friends down here in Florida uh, than I did four years ago. Ditto for New York. I have more friends here and in New York. 
uh, four years ago than I have now. Uh, with, with each passing year, uh, I, I, I lose more and more friends, and, and not just j just the ones that are dropping dead, but they're just dropping out of my life. You know, friends come and friends go, and then just one day, uh, your your friends just are no longer there. You, you, you know, we, we all know what I'm talking about. Uh, just, just, just one day, you, you think you have a fucking friend, and, 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 and then you, uh, you, you start looking, well, how many times has this person emailed me in the past year? How many fucking phone calls have I gotten from this person in the past year? And you understand, oh, well, I get it. Uh, so, it, it would be, I'm down to, you know, how many friends am I down to in Florida and New York? I, I, I don't want to put a number on that because I would probably offend somebody if, if they did the numbers. Uh, you know, just this... Uh, this, this, this absolute fucking hopelessness, this, uh, you know, just not only the total absence of hope uh, that I am ever going to find a woman again, that, that I'm ever going to have sex again, uh, that, that I'm ever going to know the touch of a woman uh, till the fucking day I die. I mean, there's that, and, and, and there's just the fact that every passing year, uh, I, I, I spend less and less and less time in the company of friends. So here comes a, okay, we have a boat full of four, looks like four guys. I mean, you know, just, just getting out on a fucking boat with four of my buddies. With three of my buddies, you know, just, just four buddies out on a fucking boat together. But I guess I'm going to have to wrap this up because here they come. So uh, I'm going to keep this camera. Now, these are young guys. Okay. We got four youngsters. I wonder if they're the guys who are going to, who are going to run and hit this, hit this, uh, hit this thing. Are you going to jump it? Are you gonna jump the jump the shark? I do remember. Go for it. What are you chickening out? <laughs> All right, I got the camera rolling. I wanna. It's gonna be kind of blinded by the sun. I wanna see you hit that son of a bitch at forty. All right. Are you gonna go for it? I gotta, I gotta get a new position on the camera. I, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna send this to my buddies. They, they, they won't believe. If I tried to tell them what you're doing, they wouldn't know what the hell I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> All right, so we have four teenage young men doing what teenagers used to do before they invented the damn smartphone. I'm glad to see you out here. All right. <clears throat> Now, are they twins and you're twins, or what? <laughs> none of, none of y'all are. Well, you're brothers and they're brothers, right? You're friends and they're cousins. All right. I would have thought it was two sets of twins. Okay, so these fellas. Oh, where are they going? Are they going to come this direction? All right. You haven't seen them do this? Oh, really? All right.
Dun, 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 dun. There they go. These guys are fearless. All right. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we do still have teenagers. You're telling me that being in your 60s is more fun than being a teenager? I was pretty fucking depressed as a teenager. So my best decade was the 40s. Probably the age of these kids' fathers. I'm sure this is their father's boat. All right. Ugh. <laughs> that's one way to that's one way to clear lily pads out of a <laughs> one way to clear lily pads oh man yes teenage boys acting like teenagers instead of sitting on that fucking Smartphone. Oh, this is the kind of shit that I would be doing if I was them. So they're stirring up all of this shit for this this little blue heron. This little blue heron is not being run off by these guys. He's being attracted because they're stirring up all of this. Uh, Stirring up all of this food. I think you're getting left behind or where you're supposed to be. <laughs> oh, your truck is here. All right. Oh, man. I don't know what this approach is exactly. I don't know about that one. Well, it's a good thing those sandhill cranes that abandon their nest are. All right, we got it on camera. I'm gonna blackmail you with this or I'm gonna put it on YouTube. Well, that one didn't work out so well. I think you're on dry ground right now. Oh, they're getting in trouble with the... I think they're getting in trouble with the neighbors. <laughs> Oh, he's the, the, the neighbor's coming out and saying he'll pay him a hundred dollars to clean up those damn lily pads. <laughs> I believe that when I see it.
Okay. We have teenage boys agreeing to do physical labor. This is truly a historic moment. Okay. We have a young couple. The first female I've seen down here. And if we join you? Not a bit. We were we were just commenting that that we never see a female. Now it says one, two, three, four, five, six guys. You're you're the only female. Well, seven counting the dog. Well, I'm Jamie. Jamie, I'm Sam. Sam. And nice that is meet. Sancho. And you're uh, you just missed the show, Jamie. You did. It was a fine one. What was it? <laughs> well, they could get this way with their boat, mm -hmm. hitting it, but now, but now they, stuck? they they came in from the wrong side. Now they got to get that boat out of there. They got one of those yeah, they got those big pole motors. <laughs> they made it through here. They hit it from this point, and they made it through twice. But then he came in from that point. And he's kind of fucked right now. But he ain't worried. <laughs> <laughs> this is the the best entertainment in Denellan coming down here. There's always something going on. This guy was coming out with his boat. And he pulls and he spam into that sign right there. Oh, I mean, smashed the sh shit out of his trolling motor on the side trying to get out well. oh you you don't come here for a tranquil sunset I'm here for entertainment. yeah okay. hey. I, I thought there would be 20 boats here today, it, day for a river today. people got out early I was here this morning you should have seen the pile up here this morning yeah. I mean just a Freeway for two hours. Justin, get out and push it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a, I don't think we're going to get this on video because I think that boat's staying there tonight. <laughs>